Hello guys and welcome again to another devlog video. Today I'm going to continue to model my character that I left in the previous devlog. Now in this video we will cover the process on the modeling the clothes and also adding temporary texture onto my model. And obviously the purpose is to see how this character will be looks like in the final result. Okay, as you can see, I'm still using the same model I've made in the previous devlog. If you guys haven't seen it yet, be sure to check it out because I cover the entire process on how I model this anime style with female based body. And it was a speed modeling video on Blender, so if you guys are already familiar with Blender or any 3D modeling software, I hope you can learn something from it. Now the process on how I model the clothes is still using geometry modeling technique and as you can see by adding temporary texture the character looks exactly like the concept art and that's good since that is the purpose of the concept art I guess. Another reason why I added temporary texture is because somehow when I see the aesthetics of my model soon enough, it gives me motivation to keep on continuing my work. What I meant is, if you can see the claims of the final result of your project or your work, it's kinda your future is already has been decided I guess. <laughs> but anyway, that's the way I motivate myself when working on almost every project I ever had. Well, I want the clothes are kinda bit compacted, so I'm using the solidify modifier, but of course it will add additional poly count, but we don't need to worry about it for now, because we will remove this modifier and replace it by adding a bit shadow texture to create a depth illusion in the future. Since we are working on a low poly model, it's not necessary to model a decent geometry shape, so basically uh, basic shape are sufficient enough. Furthermore, thanks to the textures, this model will look appealing enough without losing any important feature of the character itself or its glutes. Okay, now the process will be the same, so I will leave you guys with the rest and come back when it's finished. So, enjoy! Alright, here is the result of my efforts, so I'm using a flat shader so there is no kind of reflection nor shadow, 
so if I go to the render mode, well, it will give a bit of shading. Now obviously the texturing process isn't done yet, so I will leave it for the next devlog I guess. And anyway, thank you for joining me in this devlog, and give a like if you liked the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.